Greetings, and welcome, yet again, to the Grand House. Tonight, we look at a film that, well, first a disclaimer. For those of you that are fans of the Twilight series, you'll want to leave this now. For those of you that are not fans, you're probably going to turn this one out. <laughs> there it is, one to the end. <sighs> so, an interesting little film. Kind of a spoof of Twilight. Wouldn't mind seeing a sequel to this one. It, although, I don't know if they could really do a sequel. It would be very hard to top, I think. It's a pretty gross out film. It's in the tradition of, like, Scary Movie and The Naked Gun and those type of films. <sighs> so, basically what they did was they threw in this little story. It's um, Bella and Edward, of course. And the whole thing of, you know, Team Edward, Team Jacob, that sort of thing. But this one's got, let's see. Uh... uh Fart jokes, dick jokes, and <laughs> hold on a moment. Down, down. Yeah, let's see. Fart jokes, dick jokes, and a lot of bathroom humor. A lot of sound effects to that, to that front. Uh, really, uh, <laughs> A relationship more or less between Jacob and Edward if you look at some of the uh, uh, well, uh, the, the bloopers and the um, outtakes and what have you and a girl that actually uh, does a very good job of playing Bella Heather Ann Davis I think is her name and uh, yeah, how how does one go about it? Um, she doesn't Steven Seagal it, like like supposedly people have probably said about Kristen Stewart. Anyway, uh, me personally, I'm not a fan of the film franchise, but the spoof was pretty good. It's um, basically uh, vampires are there's that tribe of vampires that want to kill off Bella, and you got the werewolves and the vampires and they're feuding, and, uh, and this film does address one question that I have. What is Danny Trejo doing in this film? I mean, really? That guy did machete for crying out loud. Uh, I don't know. Hey, you seem to be alright with it. There was a good spoof with a, a good spoof scene with a flashback where um, Danny Trejo's character tells the story of this other group called the Cold Ones, and it was um, four Johnny Depp characters: Edward Scissorhands, Jack Sparrow, the Mad Hatter, and Willy Wonka, all chasing uh, some tribe of theirs and killing off their tribal members. That wasn't a bad story. Uh, and, that, and uh, then, of course, there's also the whole thing with the white cake, that she can't eat white cake, but that's in a whole other story. Not to mention you've got appearances from the other characters, and you've got, um, you've got the uh, smaller versions of the Cullens, for some reason, I don't know. I think they should have done more with those characters, too, truthfully. I don't think they really did that much with them. Down. <sighs> Anyway, if you're a fan, eh, you're probably not going to care for this film. But if you're not a fan of the franchise, eh, you might you might do well to get it. It's probably in the bargain bin for like five bucks somewhere, probably Walmart or one of those places. Anyway, that's about it for this one. This is this will be my comedy review, I suppose. So, that's it for this particular edition of The Grindhouse. 
I'll be reviewing another movie probably Friday, Cannonball Friday. Until such time as that.